Welcome to Engineering Update, brought to you by Mauser Electronics, the electronic components distributor with the widest selection of the newest products. I'm Jeff Ranke, Editorial Director of ECN, and in this week's headlines, making robots softer, portable chargers for soldiers, Google takes a shot at wind power, pills and tattoos replacing passwords, and a beer pouring robot, finally. Computer scientists at Cornell are in the process of producing a robot with anticipatory cognitive abilities. They've programmed a PR2 robot to do more than run-of-the-mill robot tasks by developing its ability to anticipate and react to human behavior in the most important way ever. This is a quest that robotic researchers have been at for quite some time, but it turns out that they just needed the right motivation. This latest robot has demonstrated the ability to pour a drink and even recognizes when you may want another. The anticipatory robot avoids embarrassing spills and other accidents by using its Microsoft Connect scanner to build up a 3D map. It then calculates how they might be used based on the action currently being performed. The robot manages this by means of a database of 120 3D videos of people performing everyday household tasks, from which it reduces the person's movements to symbolic skeletons. It then classifies these skeletons into sub-activities and calculates the type of actions that need to take place. At this point, the robot's predictive capabilities are still limited. In tests carried out by the researchers, the anticipatory robot is able to correctly predict actions 82% of the time when looking one second ahead, 72% for three seconds, and 57% for 10 seconds. As I see it, this presents us with two options, drink faster and drink a lot faster. Beer, it's your best friend, you drink a lot of it. It seems Google has its hand in just about everything these days, and with their recent acquisition of Makani Power, they're reaching to new heights and pushing wind power technology. Makani Power has been working on the Wing One prototype, a 30 kilowatt scale model of the planned 600 kilowatt utility scale device. The AWT is designed to fly at altitudes of up to 1,950 feet while transmitting electricity to the ground through a tether. The turbines on the tethered wings work much like conventional wind turbines to produce electricity. So basically, it's one of the coolest and most practical kites you'll ever see. The value of this technology is that the AWT's low wind performance would allow the machines to operate where conventional wind turbines are unable. Accordingly, the Wing 1's cost of energy would be half that of conventional turbines in typical onshore or offshore sites. Makani has also reported succeeded in demonstrating the first ever autonomous flight, including a launch, hover, and landing. For those who fear Google is taking over the world, here's another story that will disturb you. Google is currently funding research with Motorola for developing electronic tattoos and authentication pills. At a recent conference, a Google executive sported an electronic tattoo that is used as an authentication device. Dubbed the BioStamp, it's made of highly stretchable silicon and applied with a rubber stamp or spray-on bandage material that flexes with the body. The tattoo integrates tiny electronic circuits, sensors, and antennae. The companies are also jointly developing an authentication pill called Proteus Digital Health. The electronic capsule is swallowed and then activated by stomach acid, turning the user's entire body into an authentication tool. The pill contains a tiny chip, but no battery, as it obtains its power from your body's own digestive juices. This vitamin sends out an 18-bit authentication signal, which your device picks up and uses as a password. The pill has already been approved by the Food and Drug Administration, as well as European regulatory bodies. Of course it receives such quick approval. It's all just part of their diabolical scheme. We've seen this before. You're gonna lose it. No, I'm not. Clear! Charging portable electronic devices may now become less of a hassle for soldiers in the field. The U.S. Army Research Development and Engineering Command's Communications Electronic Center has developed a military-grade universal battery charger. With the average infantry soldier often carrying more than 20 pounds of batteries, the new UBC is a huge improvement as it weighs in at 6 pounds and is about the size of a small shoebox. It works through any power source and has a built-in solar panel for recharging. And, like most military-grade equipment, the UBC is highly rugged, waterproof, and discreet. What makes it more cutting edge is the fact that the UBC is capable of charging up to 8 batteries at once, as well as two USB devices simultaneously. Another aspect of these super portable chargers is their smart capabilities, meaning the electronic circuitry is able to tell the charger how much and when to charge. The UBC is also designed to be a wearable battery that could be integrated into the soldier's uniform. 
potentially turning each cargo pocket into a charging station. A different kind of robot stems from a new field of study known as soft robotics. They find their inspiration from invertebrates like octopus, squid, and caterpillar, as a softer structure would allow for squeezing through small spaces. And now, a new kind of hydrogel that flexes in response to light may make these kinds of robots possible. Developed by a team of bioengineers at UC Berkeley, the new material is formed by combining synthetic elastic proteins with sheets of graphene. The synthetic proteins absorb water when cooled and release it when hot, while the graphene sheets generate heat when exposed to near-infrared light. The hydrogel was designed with one side being more porous than the other, so that when the material is exposed to near-infrared laser light, the graphene sheets heat up the surrounding proteins which release water faster on one side than the other. This causes the material to bend, similar to the phenomenon that causes plants to grow towards light. In addition to potential applications in soft robots, engineers hope that light-controllable hydrogel could also find uses in drug delivery and tissue engineering. That wraps up this week's report. Be sure to join the conversation on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. I'm Melissa Barnes, and this has been your Engineering Update.